Okay, so these are the shoulder girdle and this is the shoulder joint, okay? Um, what type of joint is the acromial clavicular joint? It's, I know what the sternoclavicular is. It's in a complex setting. Mm -hmm. And the glenohumeral is just a, uh, an arthrodial. An arthrodial bone socket. Um, oh, that's right. Oh. <laughs> okay, curvy articulate this one. You guys know? Mm -hmm. These two are the same. Oh. Uh, an arthrodial. Not the diarthrodial. diarthrodial. Arthrodial. Arthrodial. <laughs> yeah, they're both arthrodial. They're gliding. Gliding. Yep. Okay. Um. And then while we're here, what is the closed pack position for the acromial clavicular joint? Acromial clavicular. Yes. Is it straight up? Nope. So, shoulder abduction to 30 degrees is the closed pack position for the AC joint. So in that position, the AC joint is most congruent. What about for this joint? I think one oak you're wrong and the AC joint pretty close next to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the glenohumeral humor roll is where the humerus comes and attaches to the scapula and then the AC is the clavicle attaching to the scapula. The glenohumeral humor roll is right below the AC joint. Mm -hmm. So, 90 degrees, uh -huh. abducted 90 degrees. Abducted 90 and externally rotated. So here, right here, close back um, position for the shoulder joint. Yep. <coughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Ligaments. I feel like I should just memorize the entire page. <laughs> um, ligaments and slots. Mm -hmm. So the articular disc, that's this like triangle wedge right in there. What does that do? Um, it stops the ball from hitting the and absorb shot. Uh huh. So yeah, it does a little bit of like medial, uh, prevents medial movement of the clavicle. Um, its main movements are shock absorption and congruency, so it helps fit that joint better together. So. What does congruency mean? Um, that's where congruency, like, they f it's basically like they fit together well. So when it's most congruent, you have the most surface between the two. Bones. So that's what the Mm -hmm. Close pack is most congruent. Yep. Position anything can be in. Yes, at that joint. Okay. Yep. Um, anterior and posterior sternoclavicular ligaments. That's this big one going right over the sternoclavicular joint. Um, and that limits anterior, posterior, and upward displacement. <coughs> um, interclavicular. So that's the one going from clavicle to clavicle right on the top. What does that do? Um, so it doesn't go up. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. a bit superior. So um, and then a little bit of lateral as well of the clavicles. Costoclavicular from the costal cartilage of the rib to the clavicle. Um, its main thing is clavicular elevation, kind of anchors it down, but it also prevents medial, lateral, anterior, and posterior, so everything else. 
basically. And that is our sterno curricular.